Welcome to the New York Architecture course. In this course, I would like to share with you my knowledge and experience in this city where I've been fortunate to live for the past seven years. We have a combination between the videos which we edit uh, in-house at Open Online Academy and then some resources that we find online. And as you know, there's plenty out there, plenty of work out there that you can use in terms of documentary, videos, uh, readings to learn about the city. In addition to the video lectures, we will have weekly uh, guided tours, uh, walking tours around the city where we will spend four hours walking in the different areas that are featured in every video. The course is divided by uh, areas. We will start with Lower Manhattan, see where the city was founded, the historical, the, the rest of the historical, uh, New Amsterdam city founded by the Dutch. Then we'll look at uh, Wall Street, which was the end of the city, Broad Street, which in fact was a canal. And then we'll end up with um, the World Trade Center, uh, which is the site uh, that where the Twin Towers uh, used to, to stand before 9-11 and we'll see the new development around the new towers and the beautiful park and the monuments uh, in uh, of 9-11 that uh, have been built on the site currently. We'll then move up uh, and look at the East Village, the Brooklyn Bridge, Soho and uh, the Bowery in parts of the West Village. We'll then, uh, on the third part, we'll look at uh, the West Village and then Chelsea with the High Line and all the new development that's happening on the west side of uh, Midtown. Afterwards, we'll look at Midtown and all the area around 42nd Street with Grand Central, New York Public Library, the UN Building, the Harvard Club, and then the towers of Midtown, which have been uh, quite remarkable, including the Miss Van der Rohe uh, Seagram Building or the Lever House by SOM on uh, Park Avenue. We'll then uh, move to Upper East Side, where we have some of the best museums in the world, uh, including the Metropolitan, the Old Whitney Museum, and the uh, uh, Frick Collection, and the Guggenheim. We'll move to the West Side in our sixth week, where we'll see the Lincoln Center, Columbia Universities, and some of the developments on other developments on the Upper West Side. Uh, that are quite remarkable. We'll then look into Brooklyn, which has been the hottest part uh, of uh, New York recently, and uh, in fact the Brooklyn Arena, the Promenade, and some other new projects are uh, really brilliant examples of architecture that uh, we can uh, um, learn about. So I invite you to join us for the inside tours and also to follow the online lectures and to learn about this city where you can either come and visit it in person or if you live in New York you can come join us on the weekends and for our walking tours or you can join us after the course in the one week uh, uh, guided tours, uh, architectural tours where we'll be exploring the city half the day, uh, doing sketches, reading about it, uh, taking pictures and discussing the architecture of New York. Or uh, if at some other point you decide to visit the city, you can always contact us and we'll be happy to arrange an architectural visit of uh, some of the most important buildings and uh, examples in New York. So enjoy the lectures and thanks for being with us. I look forward to being with you in the next uh, seven weeks of this course and hopefully meeting you here in person in New York City throughout the course or afterwards in the one week workshop and tours that we'll be organizing in the end. Thank you and see you soon.